friends, welcome to Let's Find Out About It. In today's session, we will be talking about the sense of sight and how we use it. So here's a short video explaining a little bit about the sense of sight. Enjoy! I see the sky. The sky is blue. Blue. The sky is blue. I see the clouds. The clouds are white. White. The clouds are white. We can see, see, see. With our eyes, eyes, eyes. We can see, see, see. With our eyes, 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 eyes. I see a lamp. The lamp is bright. Bright. The lamp is bright. I see some glitter. The glitter shiny. Shiny. The glitter shiny. We can see, see, see. With our eyes, eyes, eyes. We can see, see, see. With our eyes, 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 eyes. Now it's night. The night is dark. Dark. The night is dark. Now it's day, the day is light Light, the day is light We can see, see, see With our eyes, eyes, eyes We can see, see, see With our eyes, 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 eyes We can see, see, see With our eyes, eyes, eyes We can see, see, see With our eyes, eyes, eyes Okay, friends, hope that video was interesting. Now, can someone tell me what is the sense of sight? Yes, the sense of sight is the ability of the eye to see objects around you. So here we have an eye. And you can see that the color part of the eye is called the iris. The iris can be many colors depending on your genes. Inside the iris, we have a little black dot, and that's called the pupil. The pupil can either get bigger or smaller, and that's called dilating. For example, when you wake up in the morning, it's really bright, so our eyes are dilating because it's getting used to the light or trying to relax. Our eyes can also help us see different shapes and colors. For example, here we have a watermelon. We can see that the outside of the watermelon is green, but the inside is reddish or pinkish. Here we are describing the watermelon the way that our eyes see, because other people can say that the watermelon is either red or blue, because that's the way that they see things. Now let's move on to Teacher Mariana and Teacher Michelle, so they can help us use our sense of sight in different ways. Hi friends, it's Teacher Mariana. And we know that Teacher Jennifer just told us about the sense of sight. Now let's use our eyes in this activity, friends. Can my friends tell me what this is? That's right, it's an apple. How do you know it's an apple? Well, we can use our sense of sight, what we see, to know that it is red and round. So that's how we know it's an apple. Now let's go to teacher Michelle and tell us if this apple is good or rotten. Hello friends, I'm teacher Michelle and today we're going to see if an apple is good to be eaten or rotten. So let's look at this apple. This apple is red and white inside and it looks delicious. But if we look at this apple, it is brown and yellow and it doesn't look as good. So can you guess which one is a good one and which one is a rotten one? Yes, that's right. This one is the rotten one because it's brownish and yellowish on the inside. And this one is the good one because it's white in the inside. Now let's go back to teacher Jennifer. That's right friends, you do not want to eat a rotten apple. So that's why we look at them before we buy them. So now let's do an activity where I add a picture of an object and you tell me what you see. So here we have a chair. And can you guys tell me what you guys see? It can either be the color, the size, or what does it have. So I'll give you guys five seconds to think about it. All right, friends, so tell me what you guys see. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, friends, we see some green, some brown, some white, and some dinosaurs. Good job. So, friends, since you guys are describing this chair, you guys just use your guys' sense of sight. Give you guys a round of applause. Well, 
friends, that was the end of this section. Hope you guys learned about the sense of sight and how we use it. So now let's move on to writing an art. Bye everyone!